And here's the latest from Libya. An airstrike on a migrant detention center has killed 40 people and left 80 others wounded. The strike happened late into the night yesterday at a migrant detention center in the Libyan capital of Tripoli. This is the latest instance of violence in the ongoing conflict between the provisional government and the forces led by General Khalifa Haftar. The casualties of the detention center are mostly African migrants who were picked up by the Libyan Coast Guard. Many African migrants use Libya as a point of departure to European countries like Italy. There have also been multiple reports from the United Nations slamming the human rights violations in these detention centers. Now, one Indian is among nine injured as Yemen's Houthi rebels attacked a Saudi Arabian airport, making it the third such attack in two months. The other eight injured were Saudi nationals. The Houthis have claimed responsibility for the drone attack at the Abha International that was carried out by the Houthis. The rebel group said that they had launched an operation aimed at warplanes at the airport. The Saudi-led alliance has vowed retaliation for the attack on civilian assets. The UAE, which is part of the alliance, condemned the incident, saying that it was not just an attack on Riyadh, but on Abu Dhabi as well. Meanwhile, the Abha airport said that air traffic was not affected due to the incident. The Abha airport was earlier attacked with missiles and drones on June 12th and June 23rd. Israel does not want to lose out on what seems to be a unique chance to sign a peace deal with its Middle East neighbors. This comes after Iran's announcement on Monday of breaching the limits of uranium in the 2015 nuclear deal. In a rare public appearance, Israel, Israeli spy master Joseph Cohen said on Monday that his agency had formed a task force to identify peacemaking opportunities in the U.S.-aligned Arab countries. Israel is looking to initiate peace in a region where only two Arab states of Egypt and Jordan share diplomatic ties with the country. Finding it a rare opportunity to arrive at a regional understanding, Cohen cited Iran's nuclear program as a shared concern. He also asserted that the recent spate of oil tanker attacks has been carried by Iran, a reason why West Asia should come together and be committed to rival the cause. המוסד או מדינת ישראל לא חתמו על הסכם הגרעין. אנחנו, אנשי הצללים, חתמנו רק על הסכם אחד. חוזה עם אזרחי מדינת ישראל, חוזה בו אנו מתחייבים לעשות הכל כדי לוודא שלאיראן לא יהיה לעולם נשק גרעיני. As India's war against black money and economic offenders continues, London saw a legal battle. Vijay Malia, who was recently spotted getting heckled and booed at a cricket stadium in England, found himself at a London court yet again. He wanted to appeal against his extradition. Things have gone in his favour, at least for now. He was seeking permission to appeal against the order to extradite him to India. All this happened yesterday. Remember, that order was signed earlier by UK's Home Secretary Sajid Javid. Malia's case was heard yesterday by a two-judge bench of the administration administrative court division of the Royal Courts of Justice. The arguments were taking place between Malia's legal team and the Crown Prosecution Service. At the end of those arguments, the fugitive liquor baron got temporary relief. The UK court has allowed Vijay Malia to appeal against his extradition. And now, Malia's case will be heard in the appeals court. But the time frame is not clear. It could be months before the verdict comes out. For now, the former king of good times wants to be left alone. This is what he told reporters stationed outside the court. I still want the banks to take all their money, do what they have to do, and leave me in peace. Yeah, and as you can see, um, BJ Malia is still behind me. Uh, he's talking to reporters about uh, the fact that he does have permission to have that appeal court go forward. The main arguments that uh, Claire Montgomery, his defense lawyer, put forth is that there was some questionable, uh, there's questions around that evidence that was permissive, that was permissive. Um, there was also questions uh, around a, a number of other arguments, including the conditions of the jail, uh, whether he'd get a fair trial, whether it was politically motivated. All those other grounds were rejected, but the judge did say there might uh, be grounds, and there was what, ground one, where there might have been a question about the permissibility of that evidence. And based on that, they will hear the appeal. So there is yet to be a date decided, but it means that for now, he has won his right to appeal to have that evidence back and before the card, just based on the, that evidence. 
Uh, so we can expect it within the coming months. Now